social media marketing continues to be inundated with outlandish marketing claims, fake bro signs, and crazy creatine myths. Like it'll make your hair fall out. Check it out, fake channel. Checking in. Jonathan here. It's 2024, and I'm gonna be giving you the top four best creatine supplements for every walk of life. I'm talking about grandmas all the way down to the college gym bros. Plus, we're gonna be debunking some of the craziest creatine myths. You want answers! I want the truth! Creatine is found naturally in our bodies and is directly involved with making energy for our muscles. Now our bodies naturally produce about one gram a day and you can find it in red meat and salmon, but it is in small quantities. Creatine supplements became wildly popular in the 1990s and creatine monohydrate is probably the most scientifically studied sports supplement on the market. And it feels different. It feels fantastic. Creatine has been scientifically shown to improve athletic performance, allowing for a larger workload load and volume, the results of which should be games. Three, two, one, contact. Fantastic supplement companies have written countless fake articles about the dire need to load creatine when you first take it, and that is to take 20 plus grams per day, seven days straight before you back down to five grams per day. And that's supposedly to maximize those gains and get creatine saturated in your system that much faster. This is just another marketing ploy to get you to burn through their creatine that much faster and excrete a whole bunch of unused creatine down the toilet. Simply skip that loading phase. Taking five grams of creatine per day will get your body completely saturated in a few weeks tops. Creatine does bring water into your muscle cells, but most people never experience any bloating or excessive water retention when taking creatine. People who perform the loading phase with regards to creatine are the most apt to notice bloating. When you're taking creatine, you are encouraged to stay fully hydrated in order to help prevent cramps. There is no research out there that shows that creatine monohydrate causes you to lose your hair. Unfortunately, if you're losing your hair or your hair is thinning, that's just genetics. Blame your parents for that one. In order to distinguish themselves and quite frankly, just sell you more smoke and mirrors, supplement companies have created all different forms of creatine, promising massive benefits over the standard creatine monohydrate. Unfortunately, all of the research shows that there's no significant benefit aside from the hit on your wallet. Should you go with the trade name creatine like Farmer Pure or Crea Pure, and compared to generic creatine monohydrate, there's no molecular difference. The differences lie in the quality assurance. As an example, generic creatine comes in at 98 to 99% purity, whereas Crea Pure creatine is delivered at 99.9% nine percent purity well, i'm the best there is plain and simple but it does come with an increased cost per serving i need to thank all of you for using my affiliate links when you use those links it helps me keep this ice bath cold in the winter time as usual let me know when you use those links so that i can send you a small token of my appreciation Debates are still raging on the interwebs about when is the best time to take your creatine. And the truth is, the studies have shown that there's no significant benefits of taking it prior to your workout, after your workout, morning, noon, night. I would just say, be consistent. Take your creatine at the same time every day. For me, the easiest thing in the world is simply to just take it with the first drink that I consume when I wake up. Prices are high, inflation high, your paycheck not high. Unfortunately, Uncle Sam doesn't give a damn. It wants its cut every year. So you want the best budget creatine of 2024. And by far and large, across the board, the best way to save money is to simply go with creatine monohydrate in a powdered form. Creatine monohydrate has the lowest cost per serving of all the creatine types out there, but still delivers all the scientifically proven 
benefits. Now I tend to lean towards Nutribio because they use a form of liquid chromatography to ensure the accuracy of what's in their bottles. They go a step further and have third party testing so that you know what's on that label is in the bottle. It's 2024. All of us remember 2020 when we couldn't go anywhere, which makes us want to travel even more these days. And you want the best creatine supplement of 2024 for those of you that are on the go and traveling, you got to go with creatine pills. Creatine powder is flavorless, water soluble, and just easy to take. But if you're on the go, it can be a bit of a hassle and a bit of a mess. Creatine pills, it's exactly the same thing, but in pill form. Easy to travel with, easy to take. The only downside to the creatine pills is the amount of pills you need to take in order to hit your five grams of creatine per day. Some people want a creatine that just tastes good, something they can drink throughout the day or just while they're training. And while there are countless of those types of creatines on the market. My two favorite flavors have to be Nutribio's Creatine Burst, specifically their Arctic Blast, as well as Alpha Lion's Superhuman Post, their Muscle Marge. Be sure and tell them Large Marge sent ya. Now, both of these are going to deliver five grams of creatine monohydrate. Nutribio, that's all it is, along with some delicious flavorings. Superhuman Post throws in a few other ingredients to potentially help your body recover from a tough workout, like sodium, potassium, calcium, and some other electrolytes. And you're going to get the same exact benefits of just regular creatine monohydrate. However, you are going to be paying a slightly higher price per serving. Put that coffee down. Should you get a pre-workout that contains creatine, and for convenience sake, it has to be probably the easiest way to go. You just do one scoop, off to the races, Bob's your uncle. You don't have to mix a whole bunch of powders together like Walter White. I will say the only downside though is on days where you don't take a pre-workout or just your rest days in general, you will have to substitute five grams of creatine with an alternate source. Multiverse levels of pre-workouts that have creatine in them. And many of these companies use that creatine as a selling point for you to pick their pre-workout over others. And for the longest time, I think six years now, my favorite pre-workout that has creatine in it is Nutribio's Pre. Full disclosure, I'm usually very biased towards Nutribio because I'm just wary about what's actually in my supplements. Now, Nutribio makes their own supplements. They don't outsource it. They have third-party testing, 100% label transparency down to the hundredth of a gram. They also use Farmer Pure trade name creatine in their pre-workout. They also test for heavy metals in all of their supplements to ensure you're not getting some of those microscopic metal pieces in your drink. Now there are some great, and I do mean great supplement companies out there, so I'm not knocking any other company, but when it comes to quality assurance, I usually go Nutribio. It's time. It is time for my final thoughts, and quite simply, creatine is good for you. There are a ton of proven physical benefits, and there are a few studies out now that show that it has mental benefits as well. But don't you dare get caught up in the hype, the smoke, and the mirrors that these supplement companies are using to pull you in in order to sell their new bedazzled creatine supplement at an exorbitant price. Keep it simple, stick to five grams of creatine and just move on with your day. Is this thing on? If you made it this far in the video, can we just become best friends? Yup. As usual, to support the channel, you obviously can use the affiliate links in the description, but the best way is to simply watch another video. Thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back.